All right, Chris, I was talking to NVIDIA yesterday, as you do. <laughs> as you do, me and Mr. NVIDIA, we just bumped into each Some other. in the chat. Um, but it's not important why. What What is important is they offhandedly just showed me this thing that they had been working on that I really hadn't heard of. It's called sharing. Sh share Like you hadn't heard of sharing, Andy? I know, right? Because they already have shadow play and they broadcast stuff, and they've been doing that for a while. But they have this new thing that basically it just shares to one person. I know. Using Chrome, using a plugin in Chrome. Oh, and did I mention that that one person you share with can play your game over the internet? This you were, you were describing this to me earlier before we actually did it, and it's it sounded really weird and yeah. bonkers. But basically, what happened was you started up your game, yep. you started sharing. I got an email that was like, "Your buddy wants to play a game with you." I was like, "Cool." It opened up a new window in Chrome, and there, all of a sudden, I was seeing the gameplay. I like you're like what I like what do I do? pressed Wazdi and Geralt was all of a sudden running around. I moved my mouse around. It was going all crazy. I was controlling the game that you were running on your computer yep. through my Chrome browser. Yeah, it could be on any PC. Like I was running on the on my pretty good gaming PC with the GTX 970, and then it broadcasted it out, and it gives you a link, or you can just directly email somebody, and then you, they can play on any Chrome browser. It could be a Mac. You know, the caveat being we're on the same sort of network here within our office, but yeah. it responded with alacrity. It was like I was playing and, you know, I was in the menus, I was out of the menus, I was moving around as Geralt, and it was a very comfortable playing experience. It was awesome. Except and for when we both tried to do things. <laughs> it got a little weird occasionally. <laughs> but also it opens up to different play ways to play. Like if you want to play with a, a loved one or a friend over the internet, do a, do quests and like pick and choose if they're out of town or something. Like this, you do it this way. Yeah, this is this is kind of like the passing the controller thing that Nintendo sort of dabbled with in certain games, but like you're you're basically just playing it on the couch with them, like letting them do their thing, but you're both at your computer wherever the hell you each are. Yeah. And they here's the thing, they are basically like you could even just like boot up the game, share it, and then leave. And then walk away. And then like all of a sudden I'm playing this game that I have not paid for and I <laughs> maybe don't even have a computer that can run. But I'm playing it as if I own it. Yeah. And it's a little bit mind blowing. I can't imagine publishers are going to be too stoked about this. Oh, it no. just seems so open. How could they? It's basically yeah. like, hey, we sold one copy of our game. This person can share it with however many people they want. One at a time, though. So I guess there is that. Yeah, it's slightly limited. You can also play as if you were there co op and yeah. two player controller stuff. Because we played Rocket League split screen with someone on a Mac. And then we played the Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Yeah, as if we were doing local co-op. Yeah, and it was just the local co-op experience, except one of us did not have to have the game at all. No, you don't have to have a game or a system that even runs the game. You get a browser, you get a good internet connection. It's a little staggering to think about how it, it just it seems be so used, easy. Right? It seems so easy. It was really easy. And you can download this stuff. It's in early access beta. Uh, you just you know Google that, on, and it'll come up. Uh, NVIDIA's website will come up and say, hey, you want to download this early access beta GeForce Experience software? And there it is. You're ready to go. And we're talking about playing with friends, but you can also talk about, you know, playing with people you meet online, uh, you know, yeah. live streaming and being like, hey, you're in the chat. Like, every 15 minutes, someone new is going to hop in. It's almost like a in this, that same kind of spirit of, like, Twitch plays Pokemon. Like, yeah. you can crowdsource a little bit just by, like, sending emails to different people and having them, like, hop in and do different stuff. So the footage they see will be limited to, I think, right now, in beta. 720, 30. It's still freaking crazy to think that you could play a graphical powerhouse like The Witcher 3 over the internet without any semblance of a gaming PC at all. Unfortunately, like, we tried it with, we were just racking our brains to think about all the cool stuff we could try it with. It didn't quite work with Samurai Gun and Nidhogg for some reason. I think it's just the, maybe the way that game is rendered, it doesn't go across. Maybe that'll be fixed, you know? Yeah, who knows you what know, kind update. of compatibility issues, yeah. you know, from game to game yeah. are uh, present at this point in the beta. Yeah, So, but it seems to work on a huge variety of stuff right now, including Phantom Pain, The Witcher, Tomb Raider, <laughs> like what else? Pro Evo, uh, which just came out. And yeah, I, I can't even imagine like what people are going to use with this, or maybe it won't even catch on. I don't know. Um, but if you have a GTX card, download it and check it out and let us know like how you plan on using it or if you think it's cool or not. Give it a shot. Yeah. And yeah, to be able to play games with your friends who like... I don't know. They're they're not as into it as you. They don't have that gaming PC. Oh, it's not out for this system. But yes, it's out for Chrome. Yeah, it's nah, bizarre it's really cool. and wonderful. Uh, hopefully, they don't get shut down by publishers. <laughs> they are definitely going to get shut down by <laughs> publishers.